today we're showing you exactly what could happen if you are a teen and decide to have unprotected sex. The next story involves a high school cheerleader whose promising future was put on hold when she became pregnant at the young age of 16. Watch. Everyone, I want you to take a look at a photo of my next guest, Lydia, when she was 15 years old. She was a cheerleader. And now this is a photo of Lydia one year later when she was 16 and pregnant with her now two-month-old daughter, Annabelle. Lydia was forced to drop out of school to become a mother because a man named Darren denied baby Annabelle from the moment she told him she was pregnant. So today, Lydia and her mother, Amanda, are here to prove that Darren is wrong. And they're going to prove it with a DNA test. Watch. My daughter Lydia was an amazing student and an amazing cheerleader. She even had a college scholarship and Darren ruined her life. I gave this man my virginity and all he done was manipulated me. I got a message on Facebook from a girl claiming to be Darren's girlfriend and she said she was pregnant too. All the girls at school kept talking about me being pregnant and I couldn't handle it. So I dropped out and all my dreams of being a preschool teacher washed away. Darren has owned out one thing for this baby. I had to force him to be at Annabelle's birth. When Darren says he doubts this baby, it makes me crazy. Darren needs to step up, get a job, and act his age. If I had to grow up, so does he. Whoa. Darren ripped your life apart. Yes, Corey, he did. First of all, you would think, since he's 21 years old, that he would take care of this baby. Maury, I have done everything. Everything. They have moved in the house with me. I have furnished the diapers. That ain't I my baby. I have done the formula. That ain't my baby. Hey! I'm not kidding you. I have done everything for you. You was with your ex. everything for you. You was with your ex. So you think he manipulated her? He absolutely manipulated, manipulated her. How do you manipulate somebody? How are you going to look at that? Have sex with a 16-year-old girl. You would think he knows how to use a condom. Did he lie to you? Yes, Maury, he how? did. There was this girl that messaged me saying she was pregnant, too. Not just one girl. Not just one girl. Many girls. I mean, her body had to use Facebook. We're talking about... 70 girls, 80 girls. Right. We're talking about, so you don't go into wait, detail 70, what he wants to do to these 15, 50 year old female on there. Now wait a second. If he's denying this child, what he is basically saying is, you slept with other guys. Oh, absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely not. She, slept she with was other guys. a mommy's she slept girl. She slept in the bed with me until she was 13 years old. Oh. You can see by her pictures. Look at this baby. Look at that Not only that, when you were pregnant, what did he give you? He gave me two STDs. Oh. Oh. Mommy had to go with Not her. Mommy had to go with her. And Mommy had to go and, and, go and, and clear it up. And your baby was fine when she was delivered? Oh, and I asked him, what would have happened if, you know, this would have hurt my baby? Oh, well, that's not my baby. Oh. This is what Darren had to say. Lydia can't be sure that this is my child because I know for a fact she was with her ex. She's trying to act like she's all innocent, but she's not. I don't think her daughter Annabelle is mine and I feel trapped. Me and Lydia had our own problems. But ever since this baby's been born, we've been forced to be in a relationship. As for her mom Amanda, she's just as bad as Lydia. She just keeps throwing down my throat that this is my baby. And all I want him to do is prove it. Amanda blames me for changing her daughter's life, but my life has changed too. For everything that I've been through, I hope this baby is mine, but I just don't think it is. Wow. He hopes the baby is here. Here's Darren. Bring his ass out here. Bring his ass out here. Show him. Darren. Darren. Okay. She says What's she this? says she lost her virginity to you. She lost her virginity to me? Yeah. That's a lie. She lost it to her ex-boyfriend. Oh.
You we'll think see that baby looks like you? We'll see you today. We'll see today. like her ex-boyfriend, Did you take advantage of her? No, I didn't take Absolutely. advantage of her. How do I take advantage of her? How do I take Absolutely. advantage of somebody? She lied to me about her age, Maury. You feel trapped by her? No, I feel trapped. Her mom got me trapped. Her mom got me trapped. Her mom got me trapped. I'll take care of Wait a second. But you said you want to be the father. Yeah, I do, Mari. For all I've been through, I've been at the, the birth. I was there for the birth, Mari. I was there. Because I made you, you be not the make me be at the birth. Because I made you be I came at my own will. Oh, whatever. You had to be his That's what I gotta do. My mom brought me here. Darren, you, me me you ain't Darren, bought diapers, Darren. you ain't bought formula, Amanda. you ain't bought nothing. Mommy's got it. Mommy's got it. Because you have babies. Because I love that baby. I love that baby. Amanda, be quiet. That baby's mine. Darren, do you want to be with Lydia? Yeah, I want to be with her, Mario. You Mar do. I've been, there, I've been with her for oh, a year, no. Mario. You want to be with her? No. A year. A year. A year. A year. We'll find yeah, out whether it's his or not. When it comes to two-month-old Annabelle, Darren, you are the father. <laughs> The expression you know blinded by love oh i think we have everybody welcome april to the show and april unfortunately fears her profound devotion to her fiance jay may be causing her to ignore some troubling signs that he is cheating you see not only did april find a secret archive on his phone filled with photos and text messages from other women April is still furious over the fact that Jay gave her an STD. Not one, two, Larry. Not one, two. Two. We're going to get to that. But first, you say he is a social media whore. Social media whore. Any Facebook, tag, ins Instagram, POF, anything with a face and an ass on it, that man's going to be on there. Meanwhile, wasn't he with the girl at the same time that he started seeing you? Do I look like a side piece? Do I look like a side piece? Like, how you with somebody else trying to be with me? Oh. Like, no. How did you find out about that? Oh, my God. Let me tell you, Murray. We're at the social service office. We're applying for jobs. Right. And some girl walks up to him, her son and him. Oh, Javaris, Javaris, Javaris. They go off to the side, start talking. I go upstairs, minding my business. Who is that, Jabars? Oh, that's that's my cousin. That's my cousin. Oh. What? Two weeks, le two weeks later, we go to the bar, and I'm a nice-looking girl. I same, get... And the same girl shows up? Yes, yes. Two weeks later, we go to the bar, and a, a guy touches my butt. So he gets mad. He's all hyphy. Oh, what you doing? What you doing? She walks up. Javaris, are you okay? Are you all right? Are you all right? Yeah, you all right. Who are you? And isn't this the same girl that was in the that was in the office? I don't understand. Like, what but is the problem? Ex he explains that that's old news. That's old news. I can't that's... tell what she studied. Emailing his Facebook. Oh. All right. Let's talk about this secret archive oh, that you found. Oh, secret archive. Right? Let me. So uh, let's find let's out see. what's going on. Let's see. Come on, come on, Murray. Let me show all you. Right. Let me show you real quick. Pictures of Jay's private parts. But I ain't got no pictures in my phone. Pictures of naked women. Come on now. Then he's just like, tickle me Elmo looking girls. Like, really? Right. Explicit text. Naked. Oh my God. Naked video of the girl. Video. A girl twerking in his phone. Oh.
Oh, wow. I'm glad twerking in his phone. Yeah, but April, okay, April, you and you and Jay used to work together, right? Yeah, yeah. At the same job, right? Yeah, making P good money. Pretty good money, good right? Good money, yes. Okay, yes. and then, and then all of a sudden, he quits that job and goes to another job quits for less. Quits the job to go to another job. How do, how do you quit a job where you get paid more money, you working in the, you working in warm inside, to go work a job where you're getting paid less money, right. and you working outside all day hanging, hanging Christmas lights? Then there was a woman, apparently was around him, and attacked him. Yeah, he was attacked. And I went to the hospital. I went to the hospital to make sure he was all right. I was there by his, by his bedside, and I want to know the truth. I want to know what the hell happened that day. And I went to the... Then you went to the doctor. You 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 weren't feeling too good. And what did the doctor find? <laughs> Two SCs. What? <laughs> Two. Two. So then Jay, you know, Javaris, he he had a uh, he had a confession to make about that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What was the confession? That it was the girl who stabbed him. It was that it was the girl the girl who attacked him. <laughs> Yeah, it was because the girl he admitted, he admitted to that. It was only Earl Sacks. Who, who gets STD from Earl Sacks? I mean, come on now. That, she, she gave him Earl Sacks, and that's how he came up with these two STDs. And finally, before I bring him out, this is what hurt you the most. You unfortunately had a miscarriage. <laughs> the two of you. And you had to go to the hospital because... Because my baby was not fully developed. Right. And um, I had to get a DNC done. Right. Okay. And I had to go under anesthesia. And he, and he I was did... there for 12 hours. And he wasn't there. I found out as I was laying there under anesthesia that this man was texting girls, trying to meet up with them while I'm getting our baby taken out of me. Everybody, here's the man you're devoted to. Here is Jay. Jay, come on out. You love this woman? Yes, I do, You want to be with this woman? Yes, I do, Maury. You want to be with anybody else? If you love me, no. then why do you do the stuff that you do, Jay? Why do you, why do you treat me like you that, You don't give me no type of attention. You don't give me no type of attention whatsoever. How? How's that? How's that? If you, you don't, love you me, you will not be sitting your <laughs> other females. You will not be doing that. I don't know what you're talking about. That ain't, I ain't never sent no pic. Oh, you on a lot of social media? My phone, my lifeline. My so you gotta have a tag, line. you gotta have an Instagram, you gotta have a Snapchat, you gotta have a POS. You got it. You got no, it. No, I don't. No, I don't. You got it. No, I don't. You got it. No, I don't. So how you know I'm online? No, I don't. All that I need is right there. You, know you see online? that? All that I need is right here. Yeah, that, that's the All beginning that of the relationship. Right All that I need is the beginning of the relationship. Right here, right that, here. Don't, that don't mean nothing. Come on, man. Right here. So you're not cheating on it. No, Mark. How about that uh, private archive? That I, I like. I I had no clue. I even saved any messages. Look at all that you got on there. Boy, I, I don't know nothing about none of the explicit text, the, like, the private part. I, no. never, I never sent any pictures. No, there wasn't no I girl. never sent any there pictures on no my girl. private part whatsoever. There wasn't no girl twerking in, in, your, in your phone, Yeah, though. yeah. There wasn't no yeah. girl. Why? But she sent that to me as so, we were broke up and on the break. But y'all didn't have sex, though. You were on a break, and a girl attacked you. Yes, Maury. Right. And you say, this girl, OK, you finally admitted you had oral sex with her. That was all. That was it. That was it. Yep. Why would this girl attack you, by the way? I have no clue. Um, they they, they had that. Have some type of relationship. We had some no type relationship. of relationship. I, Murray, so a random girl. Murray, I know this. Are you, are you I'm this. Period attack let, him? Let him you talk. don't know him. him right? Talk. Right? Let, a random girl? Murray, a random girl? Murray, let him talk. That, that is not how it played out. If it all played out, I met, I met her. Um, Online a, on a, a couple on a, times. On a, on a what? On a what? A, date, a dating site? Yeah. On a, on but a I, POS I didn't have tag? Sex with Which her. one? I got Earl from her. And we we wound up going to the store, came back. And asked, she just attacked you. And she stabbed me. And she just attacked you. And huh? as I felt the stab in my arm, I got up. And as I got up, I got hit in my lungs. Right. So I started losing, you know, my oxygen. And I could not, I, I couldn't do nothing. So I kicked open the door and I, I ran to the nearest street that I could. Right. And from there, like, and her saying that, she's saying that she went through my phone as I was in a hospital, which is a lot. Right. I, I didn't have no type of devices whatsoever so in the hospital. So you didn't have a tablet? No. You didn't have a tablet? No. Okay. Did you switch jobs so you could get away from her, so you could be free and mess around? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh. Yes, I did. Not to mess around. It's, it's, she, she watched me too much. She, she followed I, me around. I'm not watching you. Like, I'm cleaning I'm, 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 I'm doing my job and she watching. Like, doing details. How am I watching you? 
I don't understand I that. She's she, she too much. That's why I do it. That's why I do it. You don't, because you, you don't never be when you say you what. That's why. And finally, how come you just dropped her off when she had to go to the hospital? I honestly don't know, because oh. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember dropping her off. Well, guess what? I got the results right here. <laughs> April, have you slept with a woman you met on social media? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, is really? Really? Who? Did you sleep with a woman who was dancing half naked in the video that April found on your phone? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. You were so April, come here. I know he felt all of them. Okay, okay, we're gonna find out. When April's grandmother passed away, Jay, did you ignore her phone calls and text messages because you were sleeping with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. You, you dirt, you dirt though. You dirt, but you was gonna pass though, right? While April you was, was gonna pass though, right? While April was in the hospital getting the DNC surgery, did you go? on dating websites to try to meet up with another woman. You said no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Man, you're so weak, you're a clown. You're a clown, Joe. During your relationship you're with April, did you sleep with a woman who attacked you last year? You said no, the lie detector test determined <laughs> that was a lie. <laughs> Ralph, come here. April? <laughs> Okay, here's Ralph. April. April. You failed every question. Only thing I oh, did damn, when you went I to really your grandma's you funeral know. was really talking to people. I, I never had sex with I no really female. I really believe you, Jay. You never a lie. You a lie. You a lie. What, what about the girl that was twerking? You a lie. That was doing a bad And what about with your Move. Could you Move. 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 No, no. What about when you went to visit your child? I don't have that type of relationship with my baby mom to even. But you, but it's you know, saying that you, but it's saying that you, that you had intercourse with her though. I didn't do it. Oh, well, 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 did you? What, what's intercourse? Do but you ain't do, you ain't do it. She didn't touch me. I didn't touch her. We didn't lay together. We didn't kiss. You we didn't do nothing. You a liar, Joe. You a liar, Joe. You a liar. This is Mimi. Now, two years ago, Mimi and the love of her life, Percy, welcomed a beautiful baby girl, and Mimi was looking forward to building their future together until she discovered that her fiance had given her a sexually transmitted disease. But here's the thing. Mimi said she wanted to keep her family together. So she took him back. But now Mimi is here at square one because Percy confessed recently that he let a woman give him oral sex. But Percy says he stopped. Or anything else happened because he felt love for his fiance. You believe him? No. The STD must have killed you. I mean, it must have just humiliated you. Yeah. It did, because my gynecologist called me and was like, you have an STD, you have gonorrhea. I was pregnant. It was my six weeks checkup that, that I found out. So how much are you going to take? No more. No more? No more. You got hickeys? You got hickeys all over? Yeah, he has a huge, you, when he comes out here, you'll see. He has a huge hickey on right his neck. Right now? Yes. And it's not for me. This is what, what Percy had to say, watch. My fiance, Mimi, and our two kids mean the world to me. I would sell my soul for them if I had to. I cheated before, and I'm trying to leave it in the past. I can't even take a shower without her going through my phone, trying to read my text messages. I can't even go to the park and play basketball with my homies without her coming and trying to check up on me. Yeah, I go to the gym with a female. We do work out, but nothing happens. Mimi, I love you but you have to stop saying I'm cheating on you. It's the past, and just trust me. 
Well, you oh. wanted to know the whole truth. Yes. All right. So, our special ops expert, David Talley, put Percy in a green room oh. with a sexy female decoy. And this is what we caught on tape. <laughs> Tell you what, we can end this right here. You want to end it right here? No, I want to know who I take the test. You do? Here's Percy. Percy, come on. She's upset. She's really upset. Other than the times that she knows about, you didn't cheat on her. Mm -mm. You don't cheat on her when you say you're going to the basketball, or the playground? No. Or you're going to the gym? No. There's what no reason for me to do that. I mean, I love right. her. I want to be with her. So You do? I mean, yeah. You have two kids together. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So this is what happened, Percy. While you were in the green room, our special ops investigator, David Talley, had a sexy decoy there. Watch. Don't talk know. to me. Okay, but you think that you passed the lie detector test, right? <laughs> you were asked if you still love Mimi. You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. How was that? If you were asked when Mimi says you come home smelling like sex, is it from cheating on her with another woman? You admitted to the lie detector administrator that that was the truth. <laughs> you were asked if when you said you stopped the woman from giving you oral sex, did you go further? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. It's that over. wasn't true. That it's ain't over. True. You were asked when Mimi got an STD during her pregnancy. Was it from you cheating on her? You admitted to our lie detector administrator <laughs> is the truth. You were asked besides the three times that already knows about. Have you had sex with your ex-girlfriend? You admitted to our lie detector administrator that you did have sex with her more than once. You were you asked, do you out. regret you having a family with Mimi? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Our kids? Our new kids? That's not true. Family, that is not true. Whatever, that ain't true, whatever. Man. What? The That's lie detector? No, whatever. On everything you love, you Dr. lied about Jeff. that. Dr. J. Percy, the two of you have two kids together. So you have all the incentive and motivation to try to work out this relationship and turn your life around now that you've been busted right here. Now is your opportunity to change your life and change your cheating ways. That's up to you. But either way, the two of you have to uh, remember you have two babies that you still have to be parents to, even if you're not together as lovers. You going to try to work it out? No. Do you want to work it out? You don't want to work it out? That's it. We'll be back after this. Came to the show earlier today with her boyfriend, Patrick. I can't even eat lasagna anymore. It's disgusting. She wanted to know how she got a mysterious bacterial infection. And she wanted to know if Patrick got it from cheating with her best friend, Ashley. What was your reaction when she came back with a bacterial infection? I wonder what she's doing on the side because I know I'm not. Lie detector test results will reveal you are telling the truth. Boy, thank you!
and they determined Patrick never did anything sexual with Ashley. You want to apologize to her? Sorry, Ashley, but I'm going to wait to apologize to him now. But then the test also determined that was a lie. Patrick lied about cheating and giving a bacterial infection to Libby. How did you do that to me? How did you do that to me? You are so disgusting! After the show, Libby was extremely upset. I can't believe you would do this to me! You gave me an infection! No, I didn't do that! You are so nasty! I did not do that! Don't touch me! I don't come nowhere by me because I don't want to put my hands on you! But executive producer Paul Fallhaber calm Libby down to see if Patrick would admit the truth. I have not cheated. You're telling me right now <laughs> that that test was completely wrong. I can lay down now and die if I'm right. I have not cheated on her. Have there been any times? Sir, I swear to God, no. No. I will. I will. I don't want to do this anymore. He's going to keep lying. Libby walked away. But there was still one more thing left for Patrick to explain. What about that bacterial infection? What about that? The, o the, only, the only possible explanation I can say for that is the fact that when I would come home from work, I'm dirty. I work in concrete. I work in dirt all the it's time. It's sexually transmitted bacterial infection. It's a bacterial infection passed from vagina to vagina. Even if you were, if you wear the same pants as a, two women wear the same pants, if, yeast, if their yeast connects, it creates a bacteria infection. Patrick refused to admit to doing anything wrong. Only thing it could be is a text message. But as far as sleeping with another one, sexual contact, sexual contact yes. I, no. Touching breath. No. No. And Libby came back to tell her boyfriend one more thing. Yo, bring him. It's over. It's over. It's over. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Everyone, this is Jennifer. Welcome, Jennifer, to the show. Now. You have to understand that Jennifer's life has been full of abuse. Aww. The abuse she has suffered at the hands of men in her life. Aww. So that's the background. But there was a glimmer of hope when she met her husband, Nathan. But now, the only hope that Jennifer has is that Nathan will pass a lie detector test. <laughs> because not only has Jennifer found a strange bra and tank top in her laundry. One time, Jennifer discovered a message on Facebook claiming Nathan was using her for money and sex, and that's it. Why? I had a very, very rough life. I thought I found somebody that I could trust, and it seems like he's just like everybody else. My husband tells me that I'm worthless. He can't ever love me as much as he loved his ex-girlfriend, and he wants anybody else but me. I begin to believe that it's obviously true. There's something wrong with me. I found a bra that didn't belong to me, lacy little tank top that obviously wasn't mine. He's left his Facebook open before. He was telling other girls that he wanted to be with them instead of me. It's driving me crazy. I cry on a daily basis. If I find out that my husband has cheated on me, it's over, and I feel like my marriage is failing. What did the doctors diagnose? I come back home from the hospital, and I get this phone call from the doctor. Hey, guess what? You've got an STD. Oh! OK? So I know I've been faithful to him. OK, I have not been with anybody else. And you know, his excuse is, maybe you sat on a toilet and got it. Oh! <laughs> then you found two things on a tank top somewhere. Oh, OK, more. All right. He does the laundry. I'm folding it, all of a sudden, there's this bra. Okay? And I'm like, I'm like, all right, all right, all right. But yet, this bra is like two, three sizes too big. And I'm sorry, but as y'all can see, I am the president of the Itty Bitty <laughs> Committee. Okay? <laughs> so, this was not my bra. This is what he had to say. Yeah. The current state of our marriage is very rocky. We fight about little issues, but I'll be the first one to admit that I say things to upset Jennifer. I call her worthless, I say I don't love her, and I say that she's not worth loving. But it's just in the heat of the moment when we're arguing, and I don't mean it. Jennifer means the world to me. She's so sensitive, and she's always there for me, and I would never jeopardize our relationship. I could say that I never, ever physically cheated on Jennifer, and I never would. Yes, I have talked to girls on Facebook, but that's all it is, is a conversation. I even deleted my Facebook page for Jennifer. Jennifer, your past 
is affecting our future. And I only hope and pray to earn your trust back. I love you with all my heart. Welcome, everybody. Nathan, here he is. You really think she got that STD on a toilet seat? No, I didn't say that. I said, uh, I said it's possible you could have got it from a toilet seat. What I did, I never slept with anybody. So I never slept with anybody, so I couldn't have gave it to you, Jen. Last night, you were here, yeah. and uh, a lot of the times when uh, guests are here, we have interns uh, help them with all their needs and stuff like that. So one of our interns, uh, Dina, uh, went out uh, while you were having a cigarette, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Dina, what, what did Nathan have to tell you? Nathan told me that his father used to give lie detector tests. Yeah. So he knows how to pass them. And, really? and his wife exactly didn't know that. Pass them. I said there is ways to pass them. Really? Let's read it. <laughs> we asked you, Nathan, did the bra and tank top that Jennifer found in the laundry come from a woman you had sexual intercourse with? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. We asked That's you, during your relationship with Jennifer, did you have sexual intercourse with another woman the night you came home with stains on your boxers and went straight to the shower? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. No, I swear. I, I told you. I told you. I never said I told you. I told you. It looked like you had been there and tried to walk. Did Jennifer oh. contract an STD because you were having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. We asked you, are you still in love with your ex-girlfriend whom you told Jennifer you love more than her? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. We asked you, do you regret Or You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Nathan, you gave me an STD because you were with somebody else. I never slept with anybody else. I have else. sat there and been nothing but faithful to you. I have sat there, I've cooked for you, I have sat there and cleaned for you. Okay, my kids love you. My kids, they are innocent in this, and you sat there and brought not only me down, but three innocent kids. Backstage, Jennifer gave her husband an ultimatum. I want the truth right now. I want it right now. If he admits the truth, she would try to forgive him. But if he doesn't confess, she would leave him for good. You lie one more time, so help me God take these, go home by yourself. I want the truth. How many girls have you slept with? None. He thinks that he admits it right now that it's really going to be over. So if he does admit it, then he still has a chance. So we're going to. You don't have a chance if you're going to sit here and lie to my face. Why this is what's that? breaking us up. It's not the. You know, fact of what exactly you did is the fact that you're still wanting to lie to me knowing it's making it worse. I want you to learn how to be honest. We all know you did it. Why can't you say it? Say it! I didn't know I didn't sleep with nobody, Jen. Come with me, right? I'm going to give you a minute. Did Jennifer just walk away from her husband for the last time? Keep watching Mari every day for our next update show. <laughs> Until next time. We all met a distraught young woman named Jenny. I've trusted him for so many years. After never having any suspicions about her boyfriend Tommy cheating. I didn't question that man for six years, okay? She was just diagnosed with a sexually transmitted disease. <laughs> Therefore, Jenny immediately did one thing. I called the Mari Show. Tommy took a lie detector test to prove he wasn't cheating. You're alone, you know it. You love this woman? Yes, I love this woman. And if woman. you love me, we'll find out now, won't we? Yes, we yeah. will. How did she end up with an STD? I have never done nothing to this woman at all. I treat her like that. But Jenny's mother, Patty. My mother has not liked him from day one. Was convinced Tommy was going to fail the test miserably. Her I daughter will. is in love with this man. My daughter's an obviously idiot, isn't she? <laughs> The results of Tommy's test were in. That was a lie. And they determined he has paid other women to have sex with him. That was a lie. And that Tommy did give Jenny a sexually transmitted disease.
on our set and right after the show. She's in love with an idiot. Jenny was incredibly emotional over these results. I knew he was garbage. I knew it. I'm done with you. How could you do that? She's beautiful. I haven't done nothing. Tommy, oh, God. Oh. Backstage, away from Tommy, everyone found out why Jenny was being so emotional. I told her all along, you're too pretty. When she made a shocking confession to executive producer Paul Fallhaber. I don't mind the curtain. You oh might be pregnant. Oh my God. Stand there and run that mouth, Tommy. Stand there and run it. I don't know what to do. Did she take a pregnancy test? He's scared. Are you? Yeah. God, I don't yeah. want him to know anyone. At that point, Jenny went to one of our green rooms to find out whether or not she was pregnant with Tommy's baby. You have a test. You have a pregnancy test. We, our staff is all here, and um, we're here to support you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, listen, you Thank you. You're awesome. That's my baby, y'all. <laughs> I'm way too good for she that. She is. I'm, that's my baby. So whatever happens, you go in and take the test and come out. We'll figure this out. Okay. I'll be right. right here. With her entire future resting on these results. She's pregnant. What is she going to do? We're going to cross that road when we get there. Okay, because I, this is the first I heard of it, too. Jenny emerged to declare the pregnancy test came back negative. Yeah! It's 100%. Oh God. You... oh, God, let me see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Now you have That's to good. Me you feel good? You relieved? I'm so relieved. Okay. And I can get him and just be gone. Be gone. And the only thing left for Jenny to do was to say goodbye to her boyfriend, Tommy. Look at this. That's Miss right. it, baby. Miss it. Miss this, because it's all you ever gonna see again. Just missed all this, all of that that you love so much and you massage all the time and try to make me feel all good, like you're perfect. Come on, Jay, it's not worth hey, your breath. Hey, guess what? Missing it. Does anybody believe an emotional affair is as bad as an actual physical affair? Everybody, welcome Sabrina to the Mari Show. So, Sabrina believes her boyfriend Shane may actually be having both an emotional affair and a physical affair. With not one, but a few of his exes. Not only has she found hurtful text messages that were written from Shane to other women, Sabrina says Shane gave her an STD. <laughs> One of which Shane's ex-girlfriends allegedly had, too. <laughs> so in the beginning of your, the relationship, you, you found him talking to his ex. Oh, yeah. I love you, baby. Oh, that was I what love said. you. I want to be... You're my soulmate. Oh. I, wish I, I wish I was coming home to you. Really? Yes. What did you see on his phone besides that? He's sending <laughs> pics out. <laughs> How did he explain he gets, that? He gets, oh, well, uh, it was an accident. He didn't know that he had sent that. That was an accident. And then I got to see his little ex, her little vagina. Look like it been repackaged for resale. Right. When you were pregnant with your son, what did the doctor say? Oh, I have chlamydia. <laughs> I got chlamydia. Okay, I was clean before you, but I'm dirty after you. <laughs> This is the man you love. That's my baby, you know. And he's sitting in here and he's playing with me like this. I don't go out. I don't, you know, interact with my exes and stuff. And when they text me, I hand him the phone. Why can't I get that same respect? So now, you want to read these? Here are some oh, of the yeah. messages that he wrote his ex. You ready? Sabrina's a bitch and I'm only with her because we have a son together. Maury, yeah. I'm a bitch, but I'm a bitch that's supporting him. Oh, okay? See. Six years. Here's the second one. I love you, and as soon as I get out, I, I, I'm going to come live with you. This is, a, this is what he said to oh, another and woman. This is, the, this is the topper. You're my soulmate. Can you buy me a bus ticket? A bus ticket. And she's such a soulmate, then why ain't she doing what I'm doing? I, 
I can't wait to hear what he said when you confronted him. Oh, oh, well, she's just a friend. I didn't mean none of that. That's just, that's just talk. How you all doing uh, intimately? Once a month, if that. Oh. I mean, why do, why do I want to have sex? If he fails this test? Oh, if he fails that test, I'm gonna pitch him a tent in the backyard. <laughs> burn his clothes right beside him so he can stay warm. That's what's gonna happen. In fact, look, in fact, here we go, hot seat, baby. You already on fire. This already is, on fire. This is what Shane had to say. Without sex in a relationship, there is no relationship, period. My girlfriend, Sabrina and I, we used to have sex five to six times a day. Now the only thing I get is accusations. I don't cheat on Sabrina. I want attention and she is not giving it to me. I admit I've made some mistakes. I've said inappropriate things to other women and other women have sent me pictures of their private parts. But we can't move forward if she doesn't let go of my past. Sabrina needs to get it through her head that I have never cheated on her. Sabrina has a choice. Grow up, stop being insecure, or this relationship is over. Here's Shane, everybody. She's my soulmate. She's my soulmate. She's my soulmate. I'm here with you. But that's I'm because here with you. I let you be. I left you for a year. Left him for a whole year. I know, year. after all those texts okay, showed up. About three weeks ago, we sitting in the bed. He gets a text message. From that woman. From her. Shane. Without oh, sex, boy. there's no relationship. Not nothing. What happened to the sex? Why well, I want to give she, this good stuff to down. somebody she, that thinks about everybody else? <laughs> she had a kid. Huh? She had a, she, we, we, have, we have our son together. The sex disappeared. Uh, it disappeared. Where, where are you, it who are you giving it to? It disappeared. Who are you giving it to? Myself. That's you know, what I'm okay, giving so it to. You can give it to yourself, myself. but I can't give it to myself. Uh, you have fun with it. Don't you know? You just can't maintain relationships with exes. Don't you get that? Thank you. I, I get it. I get Thank it. You. I understand that. Once you cross that line of being a friend and into a relationship, ain't no going back. Before the result, where'd the STD come from? Exactly. I never had an STD. It, it, I never come had any kind air. of symptoms. It come out I never of had any air. symptoms. Okay. You know, Here we go. I guess I sat down. Did on you the sleep seat. with any of the women? who sent you X-rated pictures. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh! Oh! A lie? During your relationship lie? with you Sabrina. You lie. Have you slept with any other women you messaged on Facebook? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh! At some point, yeah! Oh my God. Before her! It is so cold During outside you. right now, yeah, we'll, baby. We'll find it out. is so we'll cold. We'll, we'll get the timeline. During your relationship with Sabrina, have you slept with any of your exes? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Did Sabrina media, huh? get an STD no. from you because you no. were sleeping with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh. Vocabulary. Sabrina, hold on. Man, Ralph, no. give me a timeline here. Please. Okay, Maury, he was tested during the relationship other than the year they broke up. He justifies his cheating by saying every time you argue, you usually leave. Boom, he goes into action. Exactly. Oh. See, I don't do that. I don't do that. If it's you not walk fair. out of the if house and you, you say, respect. we're broke if up, I give I'm you, leaving if you, I then give you, you have the left respect. me. The whole time. You, you steal my old 
old lady. I don't care what you say. You steal mine. That's still mine. That's because you steal mine. You no, my soulmate. No, obviously not. You uh, my soulmate. Them other soulmate. bitches is your soulmate, baby. Oh, the, there ain't no feeling yeah, in that. Yeah, you better That's call just me popping my you better, gun. You better call Sabrina, them. you got that tent in the backyard? Oh, yeah. It's ready. It's set up. <laughs> away for the past. Uh, no, this for ain't the, the past. past. This ain't the past. For the past. Obviously, it's not the past. When we got back together, uh -uh. when we got back together, no. we, we, we said we were going to leave the past in the, the past. past. Year you can't leave it. Everyone, welcome Jenny to the Maury Show. Now, when Jenny met her boyfriend Tommy six years ago, she said he was the perfect man. When she discovered she was pregnant, she was ecstatic. But when Jenny went for her first checkup, she wondered, is it a boy, is it a girl? And unfortunately, the doctor said, nope, it's an STD. <laughs> and since that moment, Jenny has been convinced that Tommy is cheating on her, and today she wants to uncover the truth. I did. An STD. Oh my gosh, Mara, you don't understand. I have trusted this man for six years. I've never questioned anything about this man. And I didn't think nothing of it back in, you know, back then. He gave me chlamydia, okay? <laughs> I don't sleep around. He said that you got it with your ex before him. <laughs> okay. Well, we got results coming, so yeah, we'll okay. find out now, won't we? All right. Here. So, here's another instance. Tommy one day claims, you know, we're not making love enough. Six years, you're not going to have sex every day. It gets a little old. <laughs> and just because I don't give you six do sex don't mean you have to go run and cheat right, on right, me. Now, wait a second. So, he leaves, right? So, he, he said, leaves. He leaves. He leaves. And what do you find? He leaves. He left his phone in my room. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Messages phone. just popping up everywhere. Messages. Let go on let go. Oh, it's an app called Let Go. An app called Let Go. Yeah, yeah. And okay, let, so I, I get... Let Go was like if you wanted to yeah, sell so something, a I. garage sale. Did you enjoy? I had 50 more. What's That's up? That's money, right? Right. Where you want to meet? <laughs> right? Am I right? Oh, wow. Now yeah, when you want to meet, I'll do you better. I'll this let is you on Let Up. 175 if you can meet well, wait a second. Yeah, that part. This ends up being prostitutes. Yeah. And you know what, Maury? I didn't even question... I didn't question that man for six years, okay? You think he's also been texting his exes? He's got secrets. I, I, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I didn't start digging until I called the Maury show. <laughs> I did not. And when I did, I found all he was been talking to all uh, what's up? Nothing but hard <laughs> helicopters around here. <laughs> yeah, who does that? What do you find in his backpack? I find a pack of 12 condoms. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, we've never used condoms. Right. So okay. what did he say? When he went to Florida and came back. Yeah, wh where was the con? Wh where, did, where did he say the condom went? And then I found one in the garage, oh. unopened. <laughs> Meanwhile. Your mother doesn't uh, like him too much. My though. mother has not liked him from day one. <laughs> and Mari, I've loved this man. I've trusted him for so many years. I've never, ever in my life had to worry about that. I'm such a good person on the inside and the out, and I have to deal with that. There's way too many out there for me to be dealing with that. I need Answers. There's one other incident. I so he and his friend apparently they said they were going out to hang blinds <laughs> yeah. to do a job. Yeah, let right? me tell you about that one. Okay. Before he left, what did he do? Oh, oh my God, he he got dressed. He got. I said, why are you got all your dressed work? up? I said, why are you getting in the shower for? You're already <laughs> in your work clothes. He says, he says because I feel, I just feel dirty. I get, I need to get clean. Okay, get down the shower. Get his nice clothes on and goes to hang blinds 
for two hours. Yeah, I see, okay. You know, 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 But, Tommy, you kind of been frustrated sexually with Jenny lately? I'm not. She might be. <laughs> really? Really. You wasn't complaining about sex all the time and then left and went to go meet a bitch? No, I did not. Yeah, and then you, then you deleted all your messages too, didn't you? So this Marketplace app you have on your phone... Oh, there's more. It's, ama it's amazing what they're selling on that app. <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, I was. She get. How did I end up with that STD? Is the question. You had one too. My uncle, my uncle told me when he went to Florida, he seen him with his baby mama. Hey, do you text your exes a lot? No. No. Not because of her. The only time I ever text any women at all, or even get on Facebook, is when we're taking a break. Liar. I'm a liar. You're a liar. You'll find out. You'll find out You're today. You know, and if I'm wrong, I apologize. I, I can't but understand. I know I ain't. Tommy, you kiss these feet. Tommy, I don't understand it when somebody wants to go hang blinds as a job. Me you want to, you want to go take a shower. You want to change into good clothes. You shave and you put cologne on. What was all that about? I I didn't shave and I didn't put cologne on. I worked all day. Just got done working eight or nine hours. Yep. I remodel houses, drywall everything. I was covered in dirt. Right. And my buddy called me up and said, "Hey, I got a job. I have to finish tonight, or I don't get paid." Right. So I went and he gave my hand. He can't hang his own blinds. He does everything you do. I have never done nothing to this woman never. at all. Tommy, garbage. You know you're lying. She's too beautiful for you. Have a seat, Patty. You know you're lying. You know you're lying. Why? Why are you saying that to him? He's garbage. I've known him for six years. I have begged Jenny. 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 I have begged
Before I read this last question, he failed significantly. He, oh. All of his tests showed signs of deception throughout the relationship. One more, one more question. Tommy, have you ever paid to sleep with another woman? You said no, Ralph. That was a lie. Jenny, who are you going home with? Right here! Thank you so much. Bye, Tommy! Goodbye. You are not the father.